one thing I did want to touch on is why are we even removing the foam to begin with, right? Because ultimately after I replace all of the floor here, I'm going to end up putting new foam in it too. So why are we replacing, why are we pulling it out now? Why don't we just leave the old foam? And there are a few reasons for that. So if you look over here, right, this whole long beam right here, this is the stringer. And so this is one of the things with wood in it. And I cut a little hole here in the fiberglass skin to where you can see there is rotting wood in the stringer. So we do need to remove it and replace it. And for doing that, the foam was supposed to take up the entire cavity all up along the side of this and everything. If I left that foam there, whenever we go to cut this bad boy out, we would in inevitably be removing some of the foam with it. And whenever you're trying to install the new one and you're having to work around with the fiberglassing along all the edges and stuff, foam right here would just get in the way because we have to have access to be able to get around the sides of it when we're installing the new ones. So that's one reason. Now another question is why is there foam in the boat anyways? Why isn't this just simply an empty cavity? Why do you need foam in there? And there's actually two main reasons for that. The first one is there's foam in there underneath and they actually put the foam in after they put the plywood down. One thing you can see here on the stringer so you see this hole this is the hole they actually after this is down they drill this hole and they pour the foam into here and it fills up the cavity. So and why they do that is the foam underneath actually helps support the floor because it's in there, it's full. And let me tell you guys, this stuff is tough. This isn't like a squishy sponge or anything. I mean, I squeeze it as hard as I can and I can barely, barely compress it a little. And so that actually helps support the floor. And even though, I mean, you guys saw how rotted all of this was, it was terrible even with the wood as rotted as it was, it was still holding me up as I walked on it because that foam underneath. Now that doesn't mean you don't need to replace the rotting wood, you do, because if you don't, I mean that rot spreads to all the other wood and that's exactly what happened with this boat is that it spread to everything, which is terrible. So that's why you do need to replace the wood, even if you say, well, you know, the, there is a little bit of squish in the floor because that foam is still supporting it, but it's not that bad. I don't think I need to replace it. Trust me, you do. Because <laughs> it will spread like it did with this boat. So, um, And there is one other reason why you need that foam in there, though, is think about this scenario right your whole boat floods if there's foam in here that keeps the water from filling that space and if you know what gives you buoyancy is basically the displacement of water so by having foam in here which is lighter than water that helps keep the boat afloat even if this entire boat was full of water that is one of the big reasons why they put foam in all these cavities here through here all the way over there and a few up in the front so I know that was a little detour explaining why but I think it's important because I mean you guys might be watching this and maybe you have your own boat and you're thinking okay I gotta replace the floor and I gotta rip out all the floor with it all the foam that's in the floor and you might ask yourself why do I need to do that and well, that offers a little bit of a reason why and hopefully a little bit of an explanation why you still need to put foam back in it after you put in the new floor. So, hope that helps, guys. Hey, I hope that that was a helpful explanation for why you need foam in your boat. I do want to say 
thank you for watching and for all of you that this is your first video you're watching of this boat project from my channel. I have a whole series of vlogs about the entire restoration of this boat from tearing out the old floor, the old foam, stringers, to then rebuilding the new stringers, new floor, all of that. Tearing ripping out the engine, putting it back in, I'll have all of those videos. So if you guys are interested in any of that, I encourage you, hit that subscribe button because it's going to notify you as I upload more videos through this process. And if you guys found this one helpful, uh, hopefully you'll find some of the others helpful too. I just want to say thanks for watching. If you liked the video, give it a thumbs up. If you didn't, give it a thumbs down, put a comment down below, let me know what you thought, and thanks again.